paperwork statements. And boom! Time out, time out. Now, see, I think it's a tooth. We're gonna look. Ooh, what is it? Saturday morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the greatest show on earth, the storage auction pilot. Today, we are at the flea market. We are going to sell lots of things from storage units, and then we're gonna go unbox more stuff. Still have so many exciting boxes coming out of this unit. It's weird, even the, the craziest, dumbest boxes yield gold. Not literally gold, but physical uh, material gold in other forms. And we're gonna finish off our day with that. Right now we're gonna set up, we're gonna sell, and ladies, got a special guest today. I know you love this man. Uncle Mike will be here with us today. So make sure you stay tuned in this video. Like this video, like this big thumbs up. Share this video anywhere you can. If you could just maybe write down my YouTube channel link on a piece of paper and mail it to somebody like we used to do back in the day. Like not quite where like Paul Revere would run it across the country uh, with a lantern in his hand, but just put a little stamp on it, send it to somebody and say, hey, watch Storage Auction Pirate. He's the coolest guy. He opens boxes up and finds tons of turds in boxes and makes money off of it. Do that and say something cute like, um, Pyro, you look cute in your little blue hoodie sweater because it's cold outside in the morning. Anyway, let's go on. Get on the sidecar. Hey, Hold on. You kill me, huh? <laughs> yeah, hurt ourselves. I don't think we could. <laughs> this is tight. I feel like a gladiator now. Yes. So, Roger died. Who? who? Roger. Who's Roger? Remember Roger? His brother looks like Jeff Gordon. Good to well, hear this. Well, delete that. Say your prayers for my buddy, Roger Valadeo. This is the exact reason why I try to spread as much love as I can to everybody, Jeff. You know why? Because yeah, that one, one person day. might need a smile that day. That's nuts. Oh, yeah, that I is tight. Too, I don't like riding him around. <laughs> Uncle Michael. What? How much to beat Harold up? Beat Harold up? Yeah, how much? I could get Harold. You could. Just smack backhand him once. How much a backhand him once? Huh? Oh, thanks. 50 bucks if you did. Can I bring you a beer? Huh? Can you bring you a beer? No. Uncle Michael, 50 bucks if you just backhand him once. How are you, Mikey? Harold, I don't want to talk to you. Um, we're not on speak. We're not on speaking terms, Harold. Remember that. Do you remember? You can't afford it. You don't have any money. You can't even pay your bills and your debts. Huh? You, you owe me money still. He only paid me four hundred and two hundred. Yeah. Okay. There's another. Okay. You. Yeah, it's been sitting in my storage waiting for you to pay your bill and come collect it. Me and Harold have had a falling out. He tried to buy stuff off me and he's been trying to milk me and pay me. So him and I have not been on speaking terms, me and this man right here. And this is the first time I've seen him in probably a month by now. I don't know where he's been, what he's been doing. We're all set up so we'll let Uncle Michael watch while I go shop and pick for something to resell. Hold on, we're appraising your comics. Do you have a $5 bill? <laughs> no, I don't. Why not? I don't have change. Uncle Michael has all my change. Don't cuss on camera, Harold. I don't know. Why are we on camera? I'm always on camera. Let me find you. All right, thank you. Well, I'll just hold on until you get the change. I'll be standing right here. Like, stuff like this is dollar box stuff. That's old. Predator. Who are you gonna call? I like that better. Ghostbuster. Why can't it be a Ghostbuster book? Ghostbuster vintage Close toys set. are hot. You get the 80s Ghostbuster toys, they're hot. You got big ones. You got big ones, Justin? Uh, no, not since I got married. Hey now. <laughs> All right, buddy. Okay, that's not a full box. Like I mean, I see stuff that is good for sure, and I see stuff that is just... Yes, he's trying to sell these. You like money or pay Yeah. Oh, I got lots of money. <laughs> what are you doing here, then? 
What am I doing? I asked myself. You don't have no lot. I've never heard anybody brag about having so much money and being bro so broke at the same time in my life. I'm the best customer. So like, if that took him three weeks to pay his last huh? payment of stuff. <laughs> and he didn't even buy it all. He backed out, and now I've, lo I've lost the money. No. You don't ever listen to the wife. I know you don't. You brought home eight cats last week or two weeks ago to piss her off, so I know you don't listen to her. I mean, there's some 12 cent super boys. Uh, just beyond silver. His toys are the same. It's a uh, new old. Yeah. That's Harold's right. favorite joint. I'm surprised. That is definitely Harold's. <laughs> That's Kung Fu Grip G.I. Joe right there. <laughs> I can see Harold really liking that uh, one. Harold, we're trying to make a deal here. I called over my specialist. It's, it's probably three hours of work to find out what they're really worth. Three hours of work. This is Justin's bargaining tactics. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is like the ones that fell out. I'll tell you this. These are the ones that fell out. I've got a case Sir, we don't cuss. Oh, excuse me. I've got a suitcase <laughs> five times the size of it. And we don't care about what you don't have here. What we care about is what we're trying to make a price on. Well, I oh, we have more here. Oh, there's more here? Oh, we don't, he doesn't have any more. He's lying. Let's just focus on what we have. Oh, Harold. What generation? Justin, what's your offer? Maybe, uh, uh, maybe some Xbox. It's tough to say. Um, 60 bucks. He's offering 60 for your comics. That's because I'm on video. I'm trying to be nice. And that's because he's on video. Well, he's trying to. Comics, that's why we what do you know about comics? Nothing, but I've got my expert. Got Michael, tell him the comics aren't working. Expert on everything. Well, I have my expert on everything. Alright, man, thanks. Yes, uh, yes. wingback fire. I don't know what's in the book. Michael, we're trying to look at comics. I don't know what's you have no good ones. Harold, I just want to say, uh, I'm out of here, and you want to say goodbye to the world or anything you haven't been seen a lot lately. <laughs> goodbye to the world. Yeah. I do want to say goodbye to the world. You want to say hello world. to the world first? Hello, world. How are you doing? It's doing me well. again. I'm here. I'm doing the same. Sorry. Thing. No, yes. Fun, Why are you actually. rubbing up against me so much? You like you're, you're making me a little uncomfortable. I'm wearing a tank top. It's too much skin on this skin. This is the closest I come to love. Harold, guess what? <laughs> we, we 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 just hit. We're about to hit. Probably by the time this comes out, we'll be at thirty-seven thousand subs. Are you serious? Yeah. No way. You were at twenty-five last week. But you want to hear something even more amazing? Want to hear something truly amazing? Guess how many subscribers Alex has already. He just hit thirty thousand subscribers yesterday. It's good, it's good, it's good. But is it really, I mean, is he making money? Like, like I can't disclose know? what he makes, but you would be, sh I'm, a dis I will tell you off camera. Oh yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. That's serious, isn't it? Yeah. That's amazing. You hear that? Uh -uh. Alex got 30,000 subscribers. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's blown uh, up. Hey Harold, I'm out of here. Good hey Michael, bye. say goodbye. Say hello to everybody. That's Michael. Are you sure you don't want that pool? We're out of here That's for tomorrow. These are nice things. All brand new kitchen sets. 10 to 20 dollar bills everything you see here just all brand new bowls brand new plates brand new thingamajiggers just stuff somewhere in one of the last few videos i had said i'm gonna open this later well here we are and it is later and we're gonna find out what it is somebody's been tampering with it somebody's been tampering with it on six million you want to count to six million, Uncle May? Six million. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is priceless. That is actually priceless. Why? Because we want to sell this Honda scooter. And I think we found the cord now. And tools. And a fuse. Priceless, ladies and gentlemen. Probably this. It probably is electric or something, right? No? Oh, there it goes. It's backwards. I thought this was the cord, but luckily that was the cord. You know it's going to work, so I'm not even worried about charging it. It's got the key. Yeah. 
It's all right. I think it's worth it for something. Take it home and charge it tonight. 150, 200 bucks. Take it home and charge it You tonight. take it home and charge it and bring it tomorrow. And get a video. Of, I want a video of you driving it <laughs> down the hill. All right, this is looking like our load we're going to have for tomorrow. Not only do we have Uncle Michael over there, he's playing housekeeper, cleaning up things. We have a visit from Scott. Scott uh, has a day off today. He wanted to come say hello. Hi, everybody. Scott, how you doing? I, I'm alive. Yeah? I'm good. That's, that's a positive always, right? Um, yeah. How are you enjoying making videos on YouTube, Scott? So far, so good. I yeah? did my, my first one all on my own the other day. No help from Mr. Mikey over here. All on his own. Look at that. Baby steps. It wasn't very good, but at least I made it. Who's to say what's good? Touché. Fact is, you're doing it, and you're making something for people to be entertained by, and hopefully you guys will go subscribe to his channel. This is Storage Scott. I will put the link below in this video. You go subscribe, check it out, and tell him the Storage Auction Pirate sent you to his channel. <laughs> this guy's van is completely full like Harold's. Look at this. Michael, where have you been? Everywhere. No, really, like, were you selling or something? Like, why is your van so full? Because I'm too cheap to buy a storage unit. So you just, you guys are a couple of traveling gypsies. This is called the Look Falcon. how much stuff you have in your. It's a falcon. Wow. You and Michael are twinning. 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 Wow. All right, what's behind door number 7,642,064,3 squared to ninth power? What is this? Fabric remnant. I paid. 9.56 and I paid 8.19 so we're getting discount fabrics it's a little bag of discount fabrics I don't really know anybody into discount fabrics ooh 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 what do we have here are these video games let's see come on let's see let's go like this It'd be magical leave it sitting right there Tekken Two, that sounds like a good game. Is it in here? Is it in there, Compilo, if you think it's in there? It is in there. Whoa, what do we got here? If y'all any of you guys remember playing these games? PlayStation 1. I remember PlayStation 1, it was so basic. But it was the stuff. PJ Tour 98 and PJ Tour 90. Oh, I used to love those games back then. I loved golf, Tiger Woods Golf. 97, 98, yes, that's when I played lots of video games. Wonderful years. I graduated in 1996. Tomb Raider, Need for Speed, Tarzan, Grand Trees. These are good games. Very good games. Carrying on, we have a doll. It's a frog. Try me. It's broken. We also have an I Love You teddy bear. Ooh. And then we have the PlayStation 1. Look at that. Let's let's pull this all out. Set this aside. Monkey bag. We got a bag. Let's open it. Ooh. -hoo. We in our bag is a bag. It says warning keep away from small children we must keep all small children away from that bag when we go to the flea market we now have a responsibility that's nuts that's locker nuts shout out to my homie locker nuts if you don't follow my homie locker nuts you must someone we have a camera for that now on to the goods look at that that's a a combo here so you got your pedal and the metal steering wheel combo PlayStation 1 controllers PlayStation 1 is not as good as PlayStation 2 in the resale community of video games I don't think but there's a few dollars just in this PlayStation 1 right here between these games and we got rollers bookends come on what's in this blue book ooh look at this this unit just has coach everywhere you look. This is the coach unit. We're gonna label this the coach unit. Happy holidays. I thought I had a Christmas present. All right, let's see what's in this box here.
Ooh, that's probably a good shirt right there. Tommy Hilfinger. Brand new. Look at that, children's. We started off hot. That's why it's not. Gap Athletic. Nope. Those two shirts were cool. There's some more. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, good. Whew, I thought he was a Raider fan. I thought he was a Raider fan. With the level of quality coming out of these boxes on clothes, I've got a lot of hope when I see a clothes box in this year. Not to mention, we just had that PlayStation 1. So the thought that's constantly in my mind right now, well, the thought that's constantly in my mind right now, even when it's a clothes box, is I want to find like an N64, an NES system. I love old vintage video games. They're very good on, on eBay. So you never know what's in one of these boxes. And also, I'm hoping to find jewelry in one of these clothes boxes. That's why I'm going through them so thoroughly. What do we got here? Those almost look cool. What is it? Uh, Nine West. That's not a very expensive brand, but for some reason to me, that's cute. I don't know why. I just like it because it's different. You guys already probably can guess. Like, Pirates probably gonna like that because it's different. I like girl who wears different things just like how I wear different things, you know? I try to be different. I try to be a one of one. Oh, we got tags. See, this is what you gotta look for, you feel it. What do we got here? Ink. International Concepts, Ink. 119 bucks for this right here. That little flurly thing. What do we got here? XXL Massino with the tags. Another dress of some form. See, comes, comes, in, comes in waves. Cool, look at that cute dress. That is hot. It's a good box of clothes. Man, what do we got here? Bit bitten, Sarah Jessica Parker. I like it. I like the sound of that. Brand new. Oh my! I don't even know what these cost. Bitten by Sarah Jessica Parker. I wouldn't mind being bitten by Sarah Jessica Parker. I could totally see that. Size 16 regular. Bitten by Sarah Jessica Parker. Again, a tag. No idea what that costs. What are these? Requirements petite. Now we got petite clothes. I'm not trying to throw her under the bus, but I get the feeling that her weight fluctuated because this is such a vast size of clothes inside of uh, these boxes. I don't think we're gonna find jewelry in this box. Look at these little trendy little things. Yeah, they're not that trendy. They were looking better before I pulled them out. I see more pants coming. Do we have tags? No tags, no tags. Whoa. Ooh, look at that, we have more. Bitten by Sarah Jessica Parker. Once again, someone asked. Once again, if somebody could tell me what the value is on these pants, because I'm, I'm setting those all aside for eBay. Ooh, another tags, look at that. Requirements petite 36 bucks. We will set that aside. Oh, more tags. Imagine that her brand must have been bitten by Sarah Jessica Parker because we have found like eight pairs of those. Oops. Who doesn't need socks? Those are probably too small for me and. And I think that's it for the cool clothes in here. On to the next box. Craig's suits, track suits, come on. Be like the first ever rare vintage Nike track suit and Craig somehow owned it. What, next best thing, 49er jacket. Next best thing, a 49ers jacket. Ladies and gentlemen, greatest football team ever known in existence of Earth. Chalk line, made in China, size large. 
This range is anywhere from 15 to 45 on eBay. I can almost guarantee that. I know my vintage slash not so vintage sports coats. All right, carrying on. He likes to be professional and he wore these long little trench coat jacket thingies. That's gonna fly. Adidas. Adidas. Boom. Come on, Craig. Where's your. Uh... That's almost cool. But it's vintagey. Brooks Brothers. Made in Hong Kong. That's like an old Navy jacket, I feel like, or something. So, Craig wasn't into buying lots of clothes with tags on it. We got a shirt with an autograph. Look at that. Jeff Stanton signed that shirt. Ooh, a derby jacket. Come on, be something good. Oh, I was hoping to be a lowrider jacket. Let's see what we got here. White Gate Ranch. Still worthy of uh, eBay or somewhere more than just the cheap box at the flea market. Wilson suede. I remember Uncle Michael used to love these right here. Uncle Michael, comment below when you watch this video. Remember when you used to wear these? Only you specifically comment on this one, Uncle Mike. Remember when you used to wear those? I'm gonna save this for you and see if they fit you. Cool, what's that? Great plane, that's more than a, a cheap little item on the floor for sure. Now let's carry on. I guess we're gonna get no new clothes in Craig's boxes. Oh, I spoke too soon. What do we got, Alfani? Very inexpensive, size 36, 34. Oh, funny. Size 3634. Great. CK Calvin Klein jeans. Those, even though they're used, are, I've been setting aside all my Calvin Kleins and Ralph Lauren's. We got another pair of Alfani classic jeans. Boom. Not a bad clothes box. That's what I like about these quality units is that everything comes out nice. Patrick James. Uh, it's a good clothes box. Sports jackets. We have a here we have a box marked paper. Here we have a box marked paperwork statements. And boom, boom. I hold on a second. Hold on a second. Time out. Time out. Now, see the first thing that I think when I open up a box that says statements or something or paperwork, I'm thinking paperwork. I don't think I'm going to open it up and I am going to see something that shows Louis Vuitton and Burberry possibly showing. That is the difference of quantity versus quality. Quality sometimes is where you find the things that are a lot easier to sell and you even get a little bit more. All right. Money. Who? Be real. Be real. This is uh, interesting. Come on. Come on. This is a Burberry pattern. If you know anything about purses, I know about my purses. That is a Burberry pattern. And it's empty. It says made in China. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. Oh, you feel that when you get your heart let down? You're like, oh, no. Now, it says Louis Vuitton. Mm, see that right there? See that? I don't think that's real. That would be a good wall. That would be a good four four $400. What the heck? What is that? A crappy penny. All right. I had to get that penny. Nothing. Uh, don't let any dollar get away. This unit is brought to you by the letter G. This box. Great American recipes. That is almost cool. Look at that. You got some cocoa, white chocolate, double chocolate. That was almost cool because it's kind of vintagey. See how that works? I, okay, I'm horse playing now. I am horse playing. I'm officially horse playing. Let's see if we have anything else good in this box. We got possible gift cards. That's we should take. We should look into that merchandise credit. New. No. Personal photos. Ooh, is this the Rolex watch? No. Fitz and Lloyd. Fitz and Lloyd. It's a 
heart. Whew, nice. We all know how I feel about hearts. Very important. We'll save that for the end of the box. What is that? I smell coach. Looks like all personal paperwork, personal paperwork. Ooh. What is in, what is in here? Some things have me having coins in them, so I have to look. Ooh, nice. I feel like this is a coin. Boom. That is a coin. That was coins in there. We'll set that aside. What do we have here? Facts about Maine. You think it's a coin? Boom, gold-plated state dollars. They just keep coming. Okay, it's Jack Daniels, you know, that's cool stuff. And then it's a vintage box and it's shaken. And we're gonna open this on 47 billion, okay? So this one's gonna take a minute. It's gonna build up suspense. One, 1,000, two, I'm just kidding. I know it's getting old probably now. Uh, I don't know what this is. If you don't know what this is, IBM. It's a, it looks like a lamp finial. That's a whoa. That's kind of cool. Not a gift card. Not a wedding ring. I think it's a tooth. We're gonna look. We're gonna look, it's somebody's tooth. I'm willing to, it is a freaking tooth. This though, right here. That, what are you putting there? Is that like, is that like a po for poison? Like you don't carry much in there. That'd be something like you wanna kill somebody with this. That ain't no, that ain't no booze flask. 